Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to Topo Talk. This is number 25. And today's tip isn't so much about topology, it's more about workflow. This is actually a chin strap, and it's part of this look here for Starship Troopers that I'm sort of working on, a bit of fun. And I wanted to add a couple of rivets into this chin strap. And I just wanted to talk to you about a couple of ways that you could do that. Now, I was thinking about it, and probably the fastest way to add a rivet would be to use the Asset Browser. I've got a whole bunch of rivets that I use, um, and um, bolt heads and stuff like that, screw heads. And I could literally just drag it out and just drop it on. It's a little large, so just scale it down. And, you know, that is super fast. It's a great way to do it. But what if you don't have this library, for example? Let me just delete that one. And you want to do some rivets, but you want, and you want to do them in place, but you don't want to, you know, um, create a new object and move it into place. And quick way to do it would be just to select geometry that's already in place and split that off. You could use the F2 add-on, which you can t turn on in your add-ons. Um, or you can use machine tools, smart face, and that's what I've got. So I'll just press four. And there you go, that's created a copy of the selection. So if I just isolate those now, and what I want to do is I want to subdivide them. So let's see. If I select them both and subdivide, okay, that's good. And now in loop tools under circle, just hit circle. There you go. You can see where I'm going here. Inset once. Shift R a couple of times to repeat, like that. And then soft selection, or <laughs> that's my Cinema 4D days talking there, proportional editing in sphere mode. Just bring that up and just roll the mouse wheel to get that. Actually, probably what I want to do before I do that is actually just grab the vert, the central vert, and not all four bases. Now I can roll my mouse wheel. I'm using my middle mouse, my middle finger as I'm rolling. And just bring those up to about there, like that. And not too bad. They're a little bit flat. I could probably just bring them up a little bit more. Just roll that wheel. But close enough. Now they don't have the the hex inset in them, but I didn't want that for these anyway. So just something to keep in mind when you're working. If you have to add little details like this and you need to add them in place, think about using the existing geometry to do that. Because you can see it's pretty fast and they're, they're there. I don't have to put anything on the other side because the hero shot will be something like, you know, something like this. And you, I mean, you won't see the other side. I mean, you hardly see those anyway. So just something to keep in mind. So that's it. I will see you in the next tip.